Okay, we have to find the Laplace transform. Let's just go ahead and do it, and we'll talk about the formulas as we go through it. So the Laplace transform is what's called a linear operator. So that means we can do the following. This is equal to 3 times the Laplace of t squared minus 5 times the Laplace of sine 2d. Ba basically, you can pull the numbers out. Right, that's what it means to be linear, and you can compute the Laplace of each instead of just doing it all at once. Okay, so there's a formula for this. Let's just do it, and then we'll, I'll write the formula down later. So there's a there's a two here. So you put a two factorial here, always, no matter what, and then you go one higher on the bottom. So s cubed, always one higher, minus five times. Now there's a two here, so you put a two here, and then it's s squared plus. 2 squared. Let's back up and, and let's talk about the formulas. So if you have the Laplace of t to the n, that's equal to n factorial over s to the n plus 1. And this is valid for n equals 1, 2, etc. So in this case it was 2. So we had 2 factorial, 2 factorial, and n plus 1, so 3. So it's 2 factorial and then just 1 higher. What about this one? Well, the Laplace of sine kt, this is equal to k over s squared plus k squared. So you just put the k, which is 2 up top, and the bottom it's always s squared plus k squared. Let's finish. 2 factorial is 2, so we get 6 over s cubed minus 10 over s squared plus 4. And that's it. That's the Laplace transform that we wanted.